Hello Yellow Jacket fans and welcome into a special edition of Tuesdays with Tanya. We're joined by tech player Courtney Falinski with us today. Courtney, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well today. I know you got to be doing great, especially after that victory over the Clemson Tigers yeah. last Thursday night. And there was a point in that match where you had, I believe, four kills over the match's last six points in Tech's victory. Uh, what propelled you to really take over the game there? I mean, it was just one of those times when I went in and knew that we had nothing to lose. And Zoe Morton and I always go in together. And there have been several times in the past few weeks we've gone in and the end of a set or the end of a match. And every, every, each time we've like looked at each other and said, we're going to go finish the game. And it was the same way she walked up to me on the bench and said, we're going to go finish this thing. And I said, OK. And it was the first time really being behind by that much when we went in. And she served really well. And I just said, I've got to be aggressive and go for it. There's really no other way to do it. So yeah, luckily, it worked out for me. <laughs> was that the most fun you've had on the court this year? I wouldn't say the most, but it's definitely probably like top three moments. It was a good time. Where are the other two? Um, Florida State. But it's hard to top that. That was my birthday. Like that's <laughs> Nothing can beat that. And then um, Virginia Tech was a fun game, too. So is that the best kinda. birthday present you've had? I mean, beating Florida State in your birthday? Yes. Oh, for sure. <laughs> it was such an awesome day. All right, so the Jackets defeated Clemson, then lost to Duke on the road. And you're mm -hmm. back home this weekend with Boston College and Syracuse. What are you yeah. looking forward to in those two matches? Um, it's just going to be so fun because it's our last two home games. And it's always a big motivator for us. And Friday is senior night. And it's going to be emotional for sure, <laughs> especially since, I, since I'm so close to all these seniors, like knowing it's my last time playing with them. That's going to be a really big motivator for us as well, um, just knowing that it's our last chance to go out in O'Keefe and do something special with the girls that we love so much. Uh, what all has this senior class meant to you in your time here at Tech? Oh my gosh, so much. I've never known Tech without them. And I mean, last year I was close with all those seniors too, but I've played more with all these girls and just hung out with them more over the course of my three years. And I'm really close with all of them. And this is the first class that I can really say that about. So it's going to be it's going to be an emotional day. <laughs> oh, it's going to be hard. Now the last time the Jackets played Boston College, Tech snapped a six-game losing streak up in Chestnut Hill, mm -hmm. and Tech's played a lot better since then. Do you see that yeah. as a big turning point with this team? For sure. Uh, we've talked about that since it happened. We've just been getting better and better each week and getting more confident as the weeks have gone by. So it's going to be fun to get to play them again and hopefully not have to go to five games this time. Now off the court, you're a stack student, correct? Mm -hmm. Science, technology, and culture? Yes. Uh, tell our listeners a little bit more about what you're studying and maybe what your plans are for after school. Well, Stack is very unique in that you can, they teach you how to kind of articulate your skills into anything you want to do with them. It's a very strange major, but I love it because of that. It gives you a lot of freedom to say what you want to do. And I, am, in particular, am going towards like a more media focused um, degree. So I'm taking more classes that are centered around visual design and graphic design and things like that because I would like to go into that field when I graduate. Now I know you have some artistic skills off mm -hmm. the court. You like to take some time painting, I believe? Yes. Uh, my roommate Zoe Morton and I paint a lot, especially in season because it's just fun to get our minds off of school and volleyball when we have a day off and just put it into something creative. And we've done that since our freshman year and we just paint and draw and <laughs> do whatever we want. Now do you all have paintings hanging up in your room? We do. We have a beautiful one in our living room that she painted, and everyone <laughs> thinks that it's like store-bought or professional. It's so good. And then I have one in my room, and she said she has painted a few that are in her room too. So our, our apartment's kind of like our, our gallery. It's pretty cool. What's the painting of in the living room? It's abstract. It's not really of anything. Everything mm. Zoe does is just like splotches of color and paint, but it's like really awesome. It, if I tried to do it, it would look stupid, but she's really good at it. <laughs> a true Renaissance student athlete, Courtney Flinsky, joining yeah. us today. Uh, Courtney, any words for Tech Nation with Senior Night coming up this weekend? Tune in. It's going to be good. I'll All right. That. Jackets taking on Boston College and Syracuse this weekend. Courtney, thanks for joining us, and best no of luck this weekend. Thanks. For all your information on Georgia Tech Volleyball, be sure to follow ramblinrec.com.